welcome to Cayucat. Rod and I have been up here for the last few days targeting a variety of species out here. Um, we've had the pleasure to fish with Dave, one of the owners of Murphy's Sport Fishing. Dave, I've had a lot of fun with you fishing, targeting our lingcod, our halibut, salmon, different species of rockfish, even going squidding. And when we did all this, I felt like every time we would target a new species, you're always whipping out a new setup. How many setups do you actually have? Probably more than 20. 20? Yeah, I would say. Okay, so... Four of each. Spares, right? But for everything we do, there's, it's, it's specific. That's why it seems so easy. You answered my question. I was going to ask, why do you have 20 rods? Yeah, every, you know, it's pound test, right? Some of you need heavy line, some of you need light line, you need a light rod, a stiff rod. Right? Some, some of you need a counter, right? But, I can, you know, I can start with the basics and, you know, and a million people ask me that question, right? What do I need to go okay. salmon fishing? What do I need for my boat? Right? That's a, that's a huge question that I get all the time. Right? Well, today, Dave, we're going to find out what exactly you have in your boat focusing on the rods. So, let's talk about a salmon setup. Salmon setup. Can, can you show us your sure. salmon setups? Yeah, so, pretty much standard in BC, probably the best-selling rod and reel combo is a 10 and a half foot medium Shimano Technium, right? With a Shimano Moocher, right? They come in a 4,000 and a 2,000. We always use the 2,000 because we put braid in behind the mono. Okay, and 2,000s two, and are smaller? 2,000s are smaller, they don't hold as much line, but okay. we put 50 pound braid, so we get about 400 yards of that underneath the mono. So okay. He, so here's, a, here's, the, here's the tip on the mono part, right? If you're fishing offshore deep, right, you want to put about 80 to 90 feet of mono, that's it, okay, on top of your braid. Um, if you're fishing inshore, right, shallow, you want to put about 140 because in shallow water you're using a smaller hook, generally a longer leader, right, and the fish are a lot smarter and they're wily, right, they really go and you need stretch. So if, you, if, you, if you're using straight braid, there's no stretch. So every time that fish shakes his head or it pulls, it's pulling the hook out or bending the hook. So inshore, shallow water, longer mono, right, basically a top shot. Yeah. So 140 feet, offshore 80 to 90 feet, right? And that's the standard, standard setup. You notice that it's, it's taped here? I just taped that because people winding tend to, I don't know how they get that off. Oh, I thought it was to match your red flashers that you have. It's red flasher, yes. And then I have <laughs> the same red tape on my gaff. So I have four of these, two for offshore, two for inshore. Those rods for the inshore and offshore they're primarily used for Chinook, right? Yes, downrigger fishing. And it's you wouldn't use them for coho no, or you would use them for coho, any any okay. kind of any kind of trolling, right? Oh. Same same rods, same reels for sure. Okay. If you're trolling with a flasher or downrigger, that's the rod for. It's a medium rod. It's perfect. So you could use it for any salmon, like if you a were out here any, wanting any salmon trolling fishing. Any for salmon, that's that's the setup. It's a ten and a half foot medium technique. Well, isn't that the best when that's you easy. can catch all these different salmon species on one setup, yeah. and it's light enough that it would be enjoyable to use oh, yeah. for smaller fish too. And that's too. where we use it. It's about as light as you can go, but that rod, it doesn't break. You can pull as hard, you know, when, a fit, when you're down, downrigger in 200 feet, yeah. you're trying to get off the clip, there's a lot of pressure on that rod, and that's where they fail. Those ones don't fail at all. Everybody buys that rod. Well, I love that. And you know what, you have a lot of people using them throughout the season, so yeah. it, you need a, a really good durable rod yeah. that's going to be used yeah. every single day I mean, that can make it through the couple so, months. So yeah, at the lodge we probably have 60 of that set up. Mm -hmm. That exact setup, that's our main, that's our go-to, that's our bread and butter. Awesome. Okay, well what's next? Do you want to do... Lingcod? Lingcod, sure. Yeah, so lingcod is kind of jigging or swim baiting, right? It's pretty specific, right? So what I use, this is, this is my workhorse. Um, probably my favorite rod of any rod I have, right? And uh, the Therese, right? It's Shimano's, it's the Cadillac of rods, right? Super light, right? You feel everything. This is a seven foot medium, right? Yeah. And it's got 50 pound braid. So the reel is a Talica. We pretty much only use Talicas. That's our, that's our go-to for everything. It's number one Shimano reel. Um, this is a size 12. What sizes can you buy? You can buy well? a 10, 12, 16, 20, 25, all the way to 50 if you're fishing for big tuna. Right. Do you have some of those? Because I know you uh, offer well, tuna Well, I have 20, well. 20s and stuff like that, but okay. 12 and 16s are kind of your staple. Right, so the, it fits in your hand nice. This, this thing weighs nothing, butter, but I could just about lift you off the ground with it, right? <laughs> oh, so no. in my boat, I have four of these. Oh, okay. Right, and generally, sometimes I get four people and we're all jigging. We all use the same rod. This one has 50 pound, 
Okay. And I don't use it for uh, weight fishing with halibut. I don't use a spreader bar setup on this one. It's too light. Oh, would the, right, is it, could that not handle the halibut? It handles a halibut, no problem, but it's just the two pound weight on a spreader bar. I have a different rod for that. Oh, okay. Use Another a little, rod. A little heavier one. We'll get that next. I'm, try, I'm trying to think, Dave. I actually have, I had a question for, for that one rod. I was trying to think about what I was going to ask. I, I also agree with, as a, as a female angler coming out, yeah. um, a lot of fishing gear I find is always kind of, it's made with males in mind and not females. So for me using that reel, for this whole trip, and I think we've used it for what the last few years yes. now. Yes, yeah, for sure. It's it is a nice kind of fit for for me. Yeah, I don't feel like it's too bulky. It's in your hand. It's not heavy. There's yeah. no rough surfaces. So, so halibut fishing when we're using a spreader bar and a weight. So a different technique, right? This is a rod that you probably recognize, right? It's an eight foot technium. It's a sturgeon rod, right? It's the number. That's what everybody uses on the Fraser. And right? you like using it for your halibut. And I use it for halibut. So but the difference of this, this is a hundred pound line. Right, and that's really important. If you're using a spreader bar and bouncing off the bottom, the 100 pound will always break when you cleat it at the knot. If you use 80 pound, a lot of times it breaks mid midstream. Okay. So that's so that's 100 pound power pro, right? Now this reel is probably one you don't recognize. I've had this for like 14 years. Yeah, so I, you know like what? This is like a testament of, of durability. I this don't remember this one. Favorite reels, and I use these just for weights. Next, I have, a, I have two of these. In my boat, one for each side. I never fish three spreader weights, just two. So I have two, two setups the same. And then uh, these little guys. Ah, oh, I recognize these ones. All right. So it's a good old convergence rod. Been around forever. It's a seven foot medium, right? It's great. It's a, it's a little bit of a, like a stout trout rod, right? But I use that for sea bass. I use it for squid jigging. Do you prefer the shorter rods? Uh, just because it fits in the boat a little better. Uh, well, you know what? Right. You want you don't want, I guess, all these yeah. extra long rods all over the place, especially especially when you have so That's many right. and lots of people in the boat. So when you notice these are, they don't break down; they're one piece. Is that okay? It's fine because it fits in my cuddy. It's just not for everybody, but you get a lot of variety when you use a one-piece rod because of the walleye and different bass fisheries, mm -hmm. right? So there's a, there's 20 different seven-foot rods that suit the bill. The reels the reels doesn't really matter. Um, we only use Shimano reels. Uh, we use them in a the 4,000 size. Right? And always a front drag. Because it holds more line. It holds more line. And it's just a big, bigger drag washer than the rear. Are the these rear two reels um, okay in the salt? Uh, they're, they're not. These aren't built for salt. Okay. I wash them, I keep them, keep them nice, and I do get quite a few seasons out of them. And I also go fishing in the lake with them, so they get rinsed out pretty good. I know you, you were telling us about all your lake fishing you've been doing yeah. this year. 30, so this is 30 pound Power Pro. Mm -hmm. right? you, can use 20, get, you can use 20, but 30 is a little more durable. Right, in case you get a salmon or something a little bigger, we always run into like. We've so got, they could handle a salmon if you needed to. These, believe it or not, like they could big, handle salmon. You betcha. Yeah. You betcha. And then. Well, it's nice having a, a rod that's so diverse, right? Because you I, you know like it can catch something and I've been as fishing, small as a squid to as big as a salmon. I've been fishing with this a lot this year. I basically took it from the lake. It's just the Shimano Talora Kokanee rod. And what it, can you explain what test. this is? That's Dave? a Dakota, like a line counter. Okay. It's an older style. It comes in a new style, but I got 20 pound braid on there. And it's nice when you're fishing squid because it just tells you if the squid are at 40 feet on the sound, you put it down and bang, you got it. I wish every reel had that. Wouldn't it that should. be sweet? I mean, it would be, it, it's a game changer, really. It, oh, right? I feel like it would be almost cheating. When you say, oh, the sea bass are at 60 feet. Oh, okay. There they are. Fish on. How well, I always try to that? judge where I'm like letting line out. I'm like, okay, that's like a foot, two feet, three feet. But if I had a counter on it where I could just watch the numbers go up as I drop my line. So then once you get... Once you get the squid, like we've been doing the squid, squid fishing last year and this year, right? I just use a basic steelhead rod. A steelhead right? rod? Yeah, just a technium, technium, 10 and a half foot medium. It's nice, it's got a Dakota line counter. You don't need that counter for the river though? No, the counter is <laughs> really nice out here. Because if, if you're fishing in 52 feet of water, right, you drop it to 48 feet, right? Or mm -hmm. you're putting out your bobber stop or whatever you're using, right? You know how deep, you know you're right on the bottom, you're not guessing. Right? So this, is this, this another must, there. would you say? If you're going to squid fish, yes. If you can get the line counter, that, that, that's a game changer. Do you know what I mean? I've had actually, since we've been here the last few days, Dave, I've had a lot of people messaging me on pictures as well as privately asking if we're doing the squid fishing because yeah. they really found that enjoyable. So for those who are interested in getting into squid fishing, this is a setup you need. Yeah, this is your, this is your main rod. It's, so that, that's basically it. You know, it's just a... And then I got backups of all that in there in case something goes... Or in Crazy. case someone reels too much line on one side and Brings then burns the line. the line out. Yeah, it can happen. <laughs>
themselves. But no, that's awesome. Thank you so yeah, much for showing on. us the variety of rods you have. Yes! Oh. 